G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here. It has come to my attention that a lot of astrophotographers uh, don't actually have a sense of humor. And as the arbiter of astrophotography humor on the internet, it's my duty to explain the jokes to you so that you can go forward in life knowing how they work. So I'm gonna review some astrophotography and astronomy memes. Bonus points for those fine astro memes that are astrophotography related because they are like rare unicorns. Unfortunately, this video will not be funny. The thing is, when you explain a joke, it's like dissecting a frog. Ultimately, the frog dies, as too will the jokes. Now, it's okay that you don't get jokes. I mean, I'm not saying that most astrophotographers are autistic or on the spectrum, but you know, it's called a spectrum because we're all on it. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. All right, we're gonna start at our astronomy memes and we've got one from Chris Hadfield. Uh, not from Chris Hadfield, but a few weeks in isolation. Tell me, that's pretty good. You know, th the joke is that Chris Hadfield is the astronaut on the space station, spent a lot of time there every year, I think. He's clearly done more time than we have, uh, but we'll break his record eventually. Chris actually mentioned me in an interview once, which is cool. Gotta go fast, Galaxy A, Bay, come over, Galaxy B. Can't baby, I'm busy right now. Galaxy A, my parents aren't home. Galaxy B. Is that meant to be like a, um, a warp or supernova? I don't get that. It's just, <laughs> galaxies gotta go far. Galaxies just go at the regular sort of expansion rate of the universe plus their actual inertia, which is separate to the speed of the universe. Uh, they don't warp through space like that. I give this meme zero stars. Get it? Milkdrometer. Andromeda, <laughs> Milky Way. Okay, I got, that one gave me a, a little bit of a chuckle. <laughs> I don't know, what are you saying there? Is this a bit racist? I don't know. Titanic was so sad. Me, not even. Do you know what true sadness is? Battery is low and it's getting dark. You know, some of us actually do shed a tear during these last broadcasts from NASA. I know it's getting deep and sad, but I'll give this meme three stars because if you know, you know. If you ever feel lonely, imagine how Tycho TYC1800-19741 feels. I mean, I guess the joke is that it's in the Pleiades here and the Pleiades is the seven sisters. They're all named stars and uh, it doesn't. <laughs> really? Space is full of unnamed stars. TYC1800-19741 is lucky to get a number. Let's be honest. I hate light pollution. Light pollution. Me dreaming about taking pictures of galaxies and nebulas. Yeah. My pollution is a kick in the ball. Boomers, when a space mission takes up a mere half billion dollars from the American yearly spending. 748 billion per year American military budget. This is true. You know, I did the, the maths on this at one point and uh, I worked out that if we'd spent, if we spent the American military budget on the space shuttle program, uh, we would be launching six shuttles per day. Uh, it's an astronomical, pardon the pun, it's a really big amount of spending. Not so much a meme, this is, that's a good point. Jupiter Gang or Saturn Gang? Yeah, Jupiter Gang wins every time. I'm gonna to switch to my Twitter in a second. I need a bit more substance than this. This is an old one. Orion's Belt is a big waste of space. Terrible joke, only three stars. Orion's Belt has three stars. It's, you know what's not three stars? This joke. Good grief, he's naked. You know, lots of planets have rings. Uranus has rings. Jupiter has rings. I think there's more. The Earth would have had a ring at one point in time. Recently had a professor compare the outskirts of Virgo supercluster to, to the suburbs. <laughs> what is it? Soccer mum Karen, Andromeda dad having a middle age crisis, and kid, what is that? The small Magellanic cloud or something? <laughs> I'll give it three stars just because it's got a few little references in here. When you have fun broadcasting radio signals, but then someone responds by saying, be quiet, they might hear you. I believe this is a real concern that I think I think it's Brian Cox has voiced before that we spend a lot of energy trying to contact other species, but what if doing so would be completely detrimental to our existence? So, fair point. Still a shit meme. Journalist, when NASA announces the discovery of an exoplanet, this is the Earth 2.0 stuff. And, you know, I've read this article so many times. Uh, we found Earth 2.0, or we found another exoplanet. Exoplanet stuff was sort of exciting to begin with, and it's quickly become 
uh, very blasé because we find so many exoplanets and the missions out there dedicated to this are super successful so finding like earth-like planets all the time uh, the criteria for earth-like and it really needs to be a little bit stricter maybe perhaps wait till you've actually found some walking monkeys on it you will still be considered a planet if you are the largest known Kuiper Belt object Pluto Eris is discovered <laughs> poor Pluto Pluto is a planet and so is Eris and so is Ceres and so are the rest of them and I should also mention that isn't a controversial thing to say I should probably make a separate video on this but a lot of people a lot of astronomers and a lot of professional astronomers believe Pluto is a planet for good reasons uh, if you're interested in learning more about that Google the geophysical def definition of a planet uh, particularly by Alan Stern this has never happened to me before oh good we've got a actual astrophotography one it uh, looks like a rasa there and all this equipment it's all connected up when you plug everything in for a full up dry run and it works on the first first try <laughs> Okay, yeah, I like this meme because this never happens. Um, I don't think it's ever happened to me. Elon hates the moon and the public follows him. A lot of us hate the moon. I'm not defending Elon here, but he makes a good car. There have got to be better memes than this on the internet. These are really bad. Look, a shooting star. I wish I was happy. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> That's life. Gwyneth Paltrow on tanning. The sun is the sun. How can it be bad for you? Black holes, supernova solar flares allow us to introduce ourselves. Yeah, the sun... People are freaking out about 5G. If you're freaked out about 5G radiation, basically never go outside or never take an airline flight anywhere because the sun is a big ball of death that's constantly radiating you with way more radiation than 5G will ever get through your skin let alone your DNA. I don't get these jokes. Maybe I'm the one on the autism spectrum. Okay, you guys send me some memes on Twitter. Girl you like. Her father, her sister, her brother, her ex-boyfriend, her actual boyfriend, you. This is so true. Um, I actually know a lot of these people. <laughs> so it was, it was actually really touching to be included in an astro meme. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I've made it as a person. One does not simply point a telescope at the sky and snap away. This is true. There's a real uh, misconception with people that space photography is, especially in, especially in the mainstream, people who don't understand how it works, don't realize that so much work goes into a space photo. Like days maybe, but weeks, months even for a single space photo. So, so heartwarming. It's crap. Astrophotography. Let's see who this really is. No sleep. <laughs> yep. You know the struggle is real. Moon in person. Moon in photo. <laughs> yeah, this is um, one thing that um, generally people don't understand about focal length in general. I think focal length, uh, like the eye's natural focal length, you could sort of say it's about 50 millimeters, like equivalent to a 50 millimeter lens uh, on a crop sensor. But but there's so many different factors. There's your field of view as well, which is huge and. Uh, it's really hard to match what your eye and your brain is translating as what you see to an image so when you go to take a photo of the moon uh, on your iPhone it's it's this tiny little collection of pixels on your phone where in real life you feel like you can see it a lot better but but it's really 50 100 and above you start seeing stuff that's more or less equal to what your eye sees but your brain has a lot of effect on that as well which is why we have the moon illusion when you see the moon uh, close to the horizon you feel like it's bigger, even though it's not actually bigger. It hasn't hasn't grown at all. Uh, so I think that's it, guys. Have you actually sent me any more memes? I'm going to check out this uh, Facebook group. Do you want to see my friend request list? I have 911 friend requests. And it's not because I don't want to be friends with 911 people. My Christmas gift. I hope it's the new astrophysics mount. Yeah, I don't think it's that mount. Gets mad because suddenly can't get in... Get, can't get the main target in focus. Forgot to remove the Batonov mask. Yeah, I'll give this I'll 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 give this meme three stars because I've done it before. I'm sure you have too. When a big insight program got hired by Microsoft, this is so true. Pix Insights user interface is a goddamn nightmare. Um, I can tell that because I'm a programmer. I can tell that the people who wrote Pix Insight are amazing programmers, and they've taken the object-oriented structure of the program and tried to translate that into a user interface uh, and they do tend to have all of these really verbose way 
of saying things. Like instead of saying star reduction, they'll say morphological transformation. It's, <laughs> it's like learning a new language. Um, I give this meme five stars, 100% accurate. Film astrophotographer, hand guiding, hand tracking, blah, blah, blah. Modern astrophotographer. Ah, oh, see? These are the old visual guys flexing on us. Far more sophisticated uh, astrophotographers. This is a uh, culture war which will go on until the end of time. Uh, I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't agree with this meme at all. Uh, clearly you've got the dogs the wrong way around here. When an astrophotographer starts doing composites, <laughs> good, good, embrace the dark side. Five star, no, five billion stars will give you a whole galaxy because um, <laughs> The the uh, the line between uh, the line between some gentle post processing and uh, completely going over the dark side is a fine one indeed. Violence is never the answer. Photoshop and Git <laughs> better than pics inside. Bragging when you show your astro photos to someone that doesn't know anything about astrophotography and isn't into the astronomy subject at all. Have a look at the photos I accomplished to take. <laughs> yeah, I. I feel like I don't do this because I, I know the reaction. Some people, uh, like what I said before, some people don't actually know what goes into it. So they're like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like it, they can download a wallpaper that looks like that for free, I guess. Like it's not a, not a big deal to them. If you know, you know. You know is a rookie when there's more watermark than photo. Fuck. Watermarks. Guys, just relax with the watermarks look even astro photo memes wants credit for the meme so you've got the meme credit you've got the caption you've got the logo for the astro photographer who cares just give give your photos away for free stop being so precious seriously no one cares the guy who's always advising everybody you need to use this you need to do that and buy an l hands up to long the problem is border level my take on the road if we keep complex <laughs> it's the the most purple badly color processed image you've ever seen yeah that's we all know this guy we all know him then i said to the astrophotographers the image in the eyepiece of my dubsonian is better than your photos visual astronomers they just don't get it i would do anything for love stop buying astro photo equipment but i won't do that good couldn't beat no reference there when you don't have any knowledge about how to do astro photo but you have the passion <laughs> So this is an argument about uh, romanticism versus classicism. Um, if you are a romantic, you can totally imagine uh, MacGyvering something up to make it work, which is something I did the other night with the All Sky camera, just by using uh, painter's tape to connect a lens to a camera. Um, that's a romantic way of thinking. Uh, a classicist sort of take would say, I've spent thousands of dollars on my equipment. I would never use a, a little hack to uh, fix it. I need to buy the $50 adapter to do the job. And uh, i got to say, I'm a, I'm a romanticist here. I will definitely MacGyver and hack things to make them work. So, uh, and part of the problem is that it's just so goddamn expensive. Sometimes you have to do this. Uh, see my video about the $5 feather touch focuser. The veteran with his 14 inch Richie Crichton plane wave Paramount MX Plus mount and a US $5,000 Attic Astro camera. Me with my Optron Skytrack Canon T3i intervalometer. You know, you can do, you can do great things with um, cheap equipment. I, I know I say it's a it's an expensive hobby, and it is. Uh, but yeah, man, sometimes you're just the filthy frank of this operation, and um, there's nothing wrong with that. I went out last night and took a photo of the Comet with, uh, uh, <laughs> with a small lens as well. There's, there's no shame in that. I'm enjoying this. Let's, let's do a few more. When stargazers invite you to do astro photo in a 200 people star party. See, I, I can't relate to this one because star parties, I feel, are a big thing in America. Going to, uh, going to a star party is a big deal. You guys have big star parties. Our star parties here in Australia, um, they're pretty quaint. I mean, they'll still, there's still more people than you normally hang out with because you've got no friends, but um, they're not huge affairs like they are. The, the photos that I see out of other countries are massive. When you test all your astro photo equipment at home and everything works like a charm. When you're on a field and suddenly nothing works. This is so true. Um, and there's nothing worse than you've done all the preparation, you've done as much as you can during the day, and then it's dark and it's cold or it's hot and you're getting bitten by mosquitoes and you just don't feel like problem solving in the middle of the night. You just want to get on with it. When you make an extraordinary effort to try not to be rude 
to that <laughs> to horrible processing. I don't know how that feels. I don't know how that feels. Five stars. This, the five billion stars. This is a great meme. I totally, 100% understand what you mean. Can't hurt people's feelings. When chicks find out that you're an astrophotographer. Yep. This is 100% true. This happens to me at least once or twice a day. When an astrophotographer at last admits the prodigal son has returned, <laughs> that Pix Insight is the processing tool. <laughs> yeah, you can try with free software and GIMP and Registax and Photoshop. I use Photoshop, I'll give you that. A lot of us use Photoshop and Pix Insight together, but you know. Pix Insight, if you're if you're a Pix Insight user, you're a part of the cult and you know. You know you we're looking down our noses at uh, at all you uh, free software users. You told me that astrophotography would <laughs> cost me half nor a leg it will cost you both yeah i told you i've always been very upfront about this give up now when the rookie asks you to borrow your original rules so we can practice processing <laughs> no yeah you know we work hard for that data but i yeah you know, i understand um i've had people ask for my raw data as well it's not so much i don't like giving it to them it's just that it's like terabytes of data it's often massive folders and i don't feel like using up my dropbox quota for that astro photo memes new new canon ra me less expensive specialized already cool cameras it's true you know the canon ra is a cool camera and it's a dslr but it doesn't have cooling i guess the bonus is the dslr is something you can just travel around with you don't have to hook it up to a zw air or a computer or anything like that so i can i can see why he's turning his head because i would turn my head too i uh i can't fault the guy sorry sorry lady stop looking at astrophotography equipment why can't you look at porn like a normal husband uh why not do both new extra astro equipment i can't afford and don't need my wife me and mine and this is a bit of a boomer meme you know oh my wife my wife isn't going to approve Come on guys, I know a lot of you where it's the wife who's doing all the buying. Those guys who like to denoise all 100%. Yesterday I found myself applying Topaz denoise to the comment image that I took and uh, <laughs> it still felt like it was too much. You pull that slider to 100%, it's a watercolor. When a common photographer rookie do at last a couple of shoots, bam, 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 in the timeline. A little longer than a few minutes later and then running a conference this is me this is me i started with some truly horrible shots of uh of you know the usual suspects karina m42 and uh yeah within a couple of years i've i'm running my own conference i feel personally attacked by this meme you know Fuck you guys this is a niche i expect this video to get almost no traffic whatsoever because really about three of you will understand half the jokes in here but uh, that's me. I'm uh, an astronomer, apparently. Uh, not only because I use a telescope, but because I went to university and I studied astronomy. So I got my stripe and I've got a lab coat. So you've got to listen to me. Another video in the bank. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.